The sex yes. CD was uh, done early. Oh, no. I thought it was supposed to come So, um, now when you guys are doing these area props, I'm asking the area, the main important thing is for you to identify the figure. Once you can identify the figure, you can identify what form it would use. So first of all, what is this type of figure that we have here? Parallel to parallel. Thank you. Parallel. <laughs> so, we can say, all right, that's a parallelogram. Now, Ms. McLogan just gave us that formula, which the formula equals, um, Caleb, Caleb, thank you, base times height, right? So now, I know what the figure is. I know what the formula we use to find the area. Now I just need to determine what is the base and what is the highest. So I ask Ashley, Ashley, do you know what the base is of this parallelogram? Mm -hmm. What is the base of the parallelogram? Mm -hmm. It's 10. So I say area equals 10. And then I go ahead and ask Kaylee, do you know what the height is for this parallelogram? Three, right? Be very careful. This is the most common mistake. Students want to say it's four. Yeah, what would you say? Right? Because remember, if you're going to measure my height, you measure from straight down to straight to the top, right? You want to put the measuring tape over here and then measure to my head. So it's the four here four. Four is just to 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 mess you, distract you, yeah, confuse yeah, you. Screw some distracts. Right? So yeah, that's why it's there. And I'm actually gonna give you a problem that's even gonna be a little bit more confusing there. But yeah, it's there to kind of distract you to confuse you. But just know three, it's just the height, base to top. Just always think height, bottom to top. So therefore it's ten times three. Wouldn't that be B equals ten? Yes. And then ten times three and then A equals thirty. Base is ten, height is three. You got A.